Yes, the rant. I'm driving down to Bristol, Connecticut from Boston, preparing for US Trinidad Final World Cup qualifying game. I have been invited to play 36 holes at National Links, 36 holes at Shinnecock, and then Sabonic. It's perfect. It's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday after the United States will qualify for the World Cup. I'm gonna take the ferry to the Hamptons. US is gonna be Trinidad. 2-3-0, one nothing, whatever it is. I go into the studio and there's seven TVs on the left and a massive TV here. About 20 minutes in. Driven across towards the penalty spot, tips up and in and Winchester. United States is losing. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, no, I'm fine. Distance blast. Just, this is not happening. What for the legend books. I'm sitting there in the 89th minute and Paul Carr, who's our lead researcher, is in the room and I look at him and I go, Paul, what am I going to say? And he looks right at me and goes, just say how you feel, but don't curse. I go, of course not. And he goes, I'm telling you right now, don't curse. Because you're there, and I know it's going to come. Don't curse. Producer calls me. My phone's ringing. And he goes, Taylor, are you ready? And I'm like, well, the game hasn't ended. He's like, they're not getting through. The Panama game's not gone, so we want you live. It's done. It's over. We're on ESPN News. Max looks at me and he goes, what do you want to do? I go, I don't know. I have no idea. Just get it to me. And he goes, well, how do I get it to you? I go, let's just talk. Let's just, let's just, you and I, let's just talk. As a whole, U.S. soccer is not prepared. They have not done a good enough job of getting this group ready to play. By the way, as an ex-player, every single one of those players, they can take some nightmares yep. for the rest of their lives because this is an utter embarrassment if this failure does not wake up Everyone from U.S. soccer to Major League Soccer, from pay to play to broadcasters to everything, then we're all insane. Because the definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing, knowing the result. That should have never happened. The glove should have been off years ago. We should have been having real criticism. And the discussion after Brazil, Max, was can we beat the Colombias and the Belgians and the Argentinas of the world? Are you kidding me? Thing. We can't beat Trinidad on a field that's too wet and too heavy? <laughs> what are we doing? This what are we doing? It's, it's remarkable to me when I go in this stupid thing right here at how ignorant people are. <laughs> Iceland, don't have the Iceland is the same size as Corpus Christi, Texas or <laughs> Anaheim, California. They can figure it out. If the United States can't figure it out, then no, no business being involved because if Iceland, an, uh, an area that small, the size of Corpus Christi, Texas, I have to repeat that because that's an unbelievable reminder saying, how can we not figure this out? Didn't plan a single second and that was straight off the cuff with no effort. This what are we doing? Three and a half minutes later, mic off, IFB off, car keys in my hand, and I, my phone's buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. I'm like, God, who's calling me right now? I look down, it's my coordinating producer, and I'm thinking, well, they're probably gonna need me tomorrow morning because the United States failed to qualify for the World Cup. I said, let me tape IAs, and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Go to Twitter right now, Tom. Oh my. God. A lot of people on social media the right now, it's not about your clips. I have to read that because you have to see it in the old years ago. We should have been having real criticism in the discussion. So now it's viral and I'm thinking, I'm not going to go play golf. So I call my buddy and I go, I'm not going. He's like, I just saw the game. Yeah, I think I'm going to be in Bristol. This rant that everyone wants to talk about, it's on ESPN News. Just let that sink in. This is the power of ESPN and social media. I slept an hour and a half. I did live TV. We did 108 channels. I did stuff across the world from 5 a.m. till midnight, ending with Scott Van Pelt's one big thing. I had intended to write something about the U.S. men's national team that would live in this space, but it makes far more sense to welcome Taylor Twelman to this space. You were from the brilliant, I thought, last night. I got to Shinnecock this year, but it's just not the same. It's just not the same, because now every time I go there, I'm like, could have played 36. What are we doing? What are we doing?